Hello and welcome to AutoCAD Civil 3D for Land Surveyors, brought to you by EricBullburn.com, the professional land surveyor's source. This video is how to create a surface from a point group. In today's video, I will show you how to create a surface from a point group. There are many methods and types of surface data that you could use to create surfaces in AutoCAD Civil 3D. In this video, I will concentrate on what I think can become your most used workflow in creating surfaces. In general, what we will be doing is 1. Creating a point group for project surface points, 2. Creating a surface, and 3. Using the point group to define the surface. So first thing, let's click on point groups. I'm going to right click and select new. I'm going to name my new point group surface points something that I think will make sense to people who are using this in the future. And I only have a couple of codes uh, in this drawing defined. Uh, this is not my, my normal template that I work with. I'm trying to keep it simple here. But if you are using it for your surveying projects, you probably already have uh, from your description key sets a whole laundry list of codes. And then you could select the ones that are topographic and surface related. I'm going to click on include and select um, with raw descriptions matching. And what I've done, and later we'll bring this in to this drawing, is I've created a very small point file and I only have two codes in the whole thing. There are five points, keeping it simple just for demonstration purposes. But I have BB for bottom bank and TB for top of bank. So I'm going to use those values here, BB, comma, TB, select apply. And, you know, there are no points in this drawing, so nothing shows up on the point list. And I guess that's really the, the point of this whole demonstration is that you can set all of this up ahead of time. You don't need points in the drawing to be doing this, and it'll help you to automate your workflow later. So I'm going to select OK. So now we have a uh, point group called Surface Points. So now I'm going to click on Surfaces. And we'll create a new surface by right-clicking and selecting Create Surface. You can use the ribbon for a lot of this, too. And I also have the old drop-down menu showing, too, if you want to. I am going to be creating a tin surface. but obviously there are other options that you can select uh, depending on what your most typical project is or the, the project that you're setting up a template for for instance I'm going to use the default surface layer of C topo C dash topo but you could change that to your standards too and I'm just going to click on the name and call it EX for existing conditions and then I'm going to leave the, the rest of the default values the same. Uh, the most important one, I guess, being the style. And that's a, a 2 foot and a 10 foot contour interval. And I'm going to select OK. Then I'm going to expand that surface and definition. Oh, one other thing is you have an option here. If you, again, right click on the surface. There's no points in this surface or even in the drawing at this point, so there's not, nothing I could possibly rebuild. But if you want to really automate the process, you can select Rebuild Automatic at this point. Let me right-click again so you can see that I did that. And then when we do bring points in later, now I'm going to bring them in through a uh, text file. And you might bring them in through your survey database. However, it doesn't really matter. But as the point group gets populated with points, it will then automatically be updated. You'll see this in a minute, but it'll be updated to the points that define the surface. And the rebuild automatic will make you see that virtually automatically with one provision, which I'll explain in a minute. So now what we'll do is under definition for the surface at the bottom is point groups. So we're going to define the surface by adding a point group. And by right-clicking and selecting on that, you can see the two point groups that are available in this drawing. And again, I'm going to pick the surface points that we created before. Hit Apply. OK. And 
So whatever points go into that will now define the surface which will automatically rebuild. Now at this point save this as a template or incorporate this into your templates so it's available when you start a new project you open up a drawing from the template you save it as a DWG and you start working with it and that the process of bringing in those points is automated and I'll just show you briefly how to do that I'll scroll back up click on points and right click on create again you could use the ribbon or the old menus if you have those still loaded and at the end of this point create point groups dialog is an import points button and I've already done this once obviously but it's set to uh, point northing easting elevation and description or PNEZD comma delimited and that's the format for this uh, point file that I I created on the the plus button we're going to add the source file so there's the topo points file that you just saw and you could add this to a point group if you want to add it to another point group too or you could do that here click OK let's get rid of the screen for a minute you'll see it brought in the five points now as I said before even though the surface is set up for automatic update there was one provision to that and that is the points do come into the drawing they did go to the point group if I select that point group you don't see any points or anything but you see it requires some action by the yellow exclamation point sign and you do have to update the point group you'll see that the surface got created I've created a very nice pyramid here but it automated the process Again, and I can't stress this enough, that this is the opportunity to fine-tune your work process to reduce the amount of work that you do. Now, in this case, you're bringing points in and you're going to populate the surface automatically. Is that all you're going to do is bring points in? And it's No, you're going to have to go through and sometimes pick and choose and use some judgment as to what belongs in that surface. And at that point, you can edit the point group of surface points and you have a lot of different options on how you want to include or exclude points and those options are available to you and certainly you know I might have some predefined description codes that normally would go into the surface and you know so I have that set up in my template that does not preclude me from later going in and editing that out and saying no I really don't want these points in that surface Maybe there are points that just didn't have elevation values on them, so you want to exclude those. That's a simple way of doing that. Or they're way, points way outside of your work area. You know, so you may have to do a little bit of editing to get the surface exactly how you want. But I'll tell you, I've used it this way for a while. It's a really quick way to create surfaces quickly and efficiently. This has been AutoCAD Civil 3D 2011 for Land Surveyors. Music of Kevin McLeod, used by permission.